Hey guys, what's going on? Stormrider36 here, and today we are back with another gameplay commentary of Destiny, this time of Iron Banner, because I have had a day to play it all out, you know, get some good matches, and have an overall good time in the new Iron Banner. Now, qu quote unquote new, it's not like everything's different, it's just like how you level up is different, and there's more maps now. Pretty much it. But it's you know what happens and you know my thoughts about it and how much I'm liking it what I'm disliking about it all that stuff so anyway let's talk about it because that's what I do here so my first problem with Iron Banner seems to be the servers just aren't working very right there was a lot of laggy matches a lot of games where one team was lagging the other wasn't or you know one team had like all 380s or 370s and the other team had 350s you know that kind of stuff just didn't seem like the servers were running optimally but they were still running so I mean that, there's the positive it wasn't just you know oh they're not running at least they were running I guess is the positive and you could still level up you could still do things you know it wasn't just it wasn't good for everybody I guess is the best way to put it but you know anyway that's just like a minor thing that's not even like a big deal uh, one of the other things that I have a grievance about is the shotguns now we all know shotguns got a buff to counteract sniper usage because snipers were all anybody used because they were amazing however it's hard because shotguns didn't need a buff in particular which is the hard part shotguns were perfectly fine where they were at and snipers probably could have used a dull down, but you know, it's it's hard. You know, I'm not gonna pretend like I know how to balance a game, because I don't. Uh, Bungie does their best, and sometimes it doesn't really work out. I don't like shotguns. I never have. I'm pretty sure that's pretty apparent from the very beginning of my channel. I've never liked shotguns in this game, because they are very, very powerful. They have the ability to one shot you up close, and you know, it's just, it's hard. It's very rough. Because uh, having that ability makes it so that, you know, it can change a whole fight. You know, if you have a quick-swapping weapon or a quick-swapping class or whatever, you can insta-kill people pretty easily. And it sucks. But, you know, it's whatever. And, uh, you know, it's... And I'm going to let you guys in on a little info. The reason that this minute that this video is 10 minutes long is because everybody knows about the current YouTube thing if you watch any big youtubers how you know you only get like a lot of traffic from minute from videos that are like 10 minutes or more on your channel and you know their analytics and everything are kind of busted at the moment so it's you know i'm trying to stay ahead of the curve i guess is the best way to put it because if i don't then you know i i want new people to come here and f find me and i want people to at least see me and decide hey i don't want to watch this hey i want to watch this that kind of thing i want people to at least have the option to choose not just not know about me and that not just me other people too like there are great content creators that you know i found through many different channels so it's like i want that to be a thing but that's just a little side note so anyway new iron banner very revamped the new weapons love their look you guys are going to see me using the uh unbent tree the auto rifle it's very fun very good you get good perks on it you're pretty set i got decent perks it was really fun fire high fire rate you know looks amazing i love it uh, and then i have the shotgun don't remember what that's called sorry but it's got very good range uh most of them i see are dropping with very decent perks most of them dropping with range increasing perks when its range is already very very good so that's pretty cool uh and you know all the other weapons i'm seeing the pulse rifle sounds amazing the hand cannon you know performs like a hand cannon should the f you know fusion rifle the heavies everything's just going really well the drops are a lot more frequent which is awesome because that's you know how you get your gear from iron banner most of the time and it's pretty cool that it's happening that way i've gotten let's see multiple shotguns the unbroken tree i've gotten from the bounties i got the hand cannon the pulse rifle i got the mark from a drop, I got, I got, I've gotten artifacts, 
so you know they're dropping everything and that's actually really good to get people going because i don't know about you guys but i still have not gotten to the level to do the raid and that is a main goal i have done the beginning part as of now of recording this commentary i've done the first part of the raid and it's pretty cool and you know it's it's not super hard like the taken king raid was but it's like not easy you can't just do it you can't just go in and do it now there are the people that are extremely fucking good at the game that have already done it with just two people but that's not me <laughs> sorry sorry to disappoint you if that's what you came here for a two-man run of the raid <laughs> i can't do that but anyway so you know iron banner revamped is kind of cool it's kind of you know it's the same old same old iron banner obviously everybody knows that and don't mind me missing that super just don't worry about it and you know it's hard because people are you know 370 380 and i'm only 355 because you know i play other games besides destiny and also i've just been really busy lately so it's kind of like time splits are hard and i haven't really been getting lucky drops and uh for those of you that pay attention to the record book that you get the Days of Iron stuff from, I did all of the strikes, like the take a strike, which you have to do 20 strikes, before heroics counted for that. So I did regular strikes, which gave me absolutely nothing good. So I wasted pretty much a bunch of my time, because now you can do heroic strikes and have it count. So I would have gotten much better gear and probably been a lot higher light level, but that isn't the way it happened. Oh well. Uh, and it's really the first weekend and week of, you know, Crucible being a major giver of items. So, what do I mean by that? Uh, Trials was back for the first weekend, this weekend, and I did that, and I got gear from that, and then, uh, what's it called? It was back. Iron Banner. No shit, I'm making the video on Iron Banner, and that's what I was trying to think of. But yeah, Iron Banner's back, giving good gear, because that's what it does. It is supposed to. <laughs> And, you know, you have, it's fun. The bounties changed up, I hope. So I played this on day one. I played this on Tuesday. This is being recorded as of 11 p.m. on Tuesday, October 4th. You guys are seeing this on October 5th, the f Wednesday. And by then, I'll, I'll have this answer, but as of right now, I don't. Those bounties that you get, I hope, are not weekly. Just because of the fact that if they are, I'm already done with them. And now I have, like, nothing to do. So that's kind of depressing to me. <laughs> Because I want more to do. So I hope that they add more bounties in. But, you know, I don't know yet. Uh, but anyway, so, you guys, as, as you guys know, I play my Titan. And Soldier Charge got a technical nerf when the shotguns got a buff. Because you cannot Shoulder Charge for your life. If someone has a shotgun out, you're fucked. They will kill you instantly. And it sucks. Because in the past, I've been able to Shoulder Charge people and move on with my life. You know, quick kill, get it over with. Now I have to be careful, otherwise I'm going to die very quickly. Now, some people don't like shoulder charge. I personally didn't see it as an issue because I'm a Titan main. That's why. I think it's fine because I play Titan, so it's a thing that a Titan can do, and I know that. And I use it. But, you know what I mean? It's not the same, I guess, is th the thing about it that people don't like is that it's so easy, or it used to be. Now it's not as easy. If you just carry around a shotgun, you pretty much counter all sh shoulder charge because you can just one-shot them before they can get close to you. If they're not, if you're not in a specific crucible like Iron Banner trials and they're so high above you, but that's that's besides the point. Anyway, I am really really happy with what they've done. I like the fact that they brought in an Iron Lord that isn't Saladin to do the uh, Iron Banner, someone that we didn't know about, but they also gave her kind of a backstory kind of thing. As uh, you guys saw, if you play, uh, there's a little cutscene. I'm not going to spoil anything from that cutscene, but it sets up her character, and I love that. Uh, but, you know, besides that, uh, Iron Banner is just like it always has been. People trying so hard to win because they want to get to level 5 and then move on to their next character and get level 5 again. So... You know, it doesn't really matter. But I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Thank you guys for who stuck around to the end. Like and comment if you got here. And, you know, I hope you guys all enjoy Iron Banner. I hope you guys enjoy the raid. I hope you guys enjoy all of Rise of Iron because it's so much fun. Thank you guys again so much for watching. This has been Stormrider 36. I will see you all in the next one. I was actually waiting just like you guys to see if I got any loot. And I didn't. So, fuck me. Okay, bye.